Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to answer a question that I've been asked a bunch. So, before that though, let me first thank Erwin. Erwin sent me this really cool soccer t-shirt. He knows I love soccer, I still play soccer. Uh, Erwin's in Germany and he sent me this great looking t-shirt. Thank you, I appreciate that. And I'll, if any of the rest of you guys want to send me t-shirts, that's great. I'll wear your t-shirt if I like the t-shirt. Okay. Um, so the question I've been asked a lot because I do so many speaker upgrades and work on so many speakers that I get asked, what speaker would you recommend that we buy that doesn't need upgrading at all? What speaker is just right out of the box? Great. Today, I'm answering that question. And the past, there was there were speakers I would recommend in the past, like the Usher BE-718. That one was great right out of the box. It had great parts, great everything, measured perfectly. And it won every award at every magazine that touched it. And that was one that I did some design work on. I did the crossover design work on that speaker. And it did really well. This, I think, takes it up another notch. This is a new model that's being offered from Tyler Acoustics. Now, I've done some design work for Ty in the past. This is something he came to me new, and he wanted to start fresh and said, a mini monitor, and he said, I'll do whatever you think. Whatever you choose this time, just start to finish. Give me the everything. And we tried some different drivers and settled on these. It was some that I really liked. It's from SB Acoustics. These drivers are really nice. They're super easy to work with. They're really well made. And I designed a network for it. It's a it's gonna be one of those you can just order and you're done. And I can't wait to tell you about this thing. He he does some of the best cabinet work in the industry. I mean, all of his cabinet work looks fantastic. Um, this one has huge rolled edges. I told him I wanted the edges with a big radius on it. I don't want a square corner or something that's gonna cause a diffraction. And he did this great looking shape. If you can see it here, the, the whole thing is slanted back. It's got this big rounded back on it. It's got a passive radiator in the back that matches the woofer. I mean, it's beautifully done. And you can order these things in whatever finish you want. Um, within reason, I'm sure. Um, even some, some kind of crazy custom finishes, he'll charge you more for, I'm sure. But you can order it in any finish you want. And break this thing out of the box and you're done. It's a great speaker. And I want to say inch thick material. He typically uses inch thick, well braced, um, super strong boxes. Uh, you can't go wrong with this at all. I mean, top to bottom, I don't know of many monitors out there that you can buy finished that are going to be at this level and not at this price point. Let me, let me also show you what's inside. No cheese in these things at all. All good parts. The inductor on the woofer circuit and the cap on the woofer circuit. That's it. The driver's so well behaved. That's all it really needs to, to produce a beautiful response curve. The tweeter, it's got a third order filter on it. And then it's got a little inductor bypass by the first resistor at the front of the circuit that helps shape it a little bit. The only reason it needs that high order of a filter is because I'm trying to keep it in perfect time with the woofer. So he's got it slanted back. So I'm doing a little shifting and I'm, I'm doing a little trickery here to shift the phase a little in such a way that it's perfectly in phase with the woofer. And it turned out really, really well. So that's the reason there's a few more parts here. Um, sonic caps on everything. Again, my flex copper full bypass caps on the caps in the tweeter circuit. Tube connectors in the back, so good quality wire, everything, top to bottom. You don't have to do anything to this speaker. It's a world-class speaker. Can't wait to show you the measurements on this thing. Look at this. Here's the frequency response. I'll have Ron blow that thing up for you. It's smooth. It's a nice, smooth response. And if you look at the crossover response, Look at the roll-offs of these drivers. Look at the roll-off of this tweeter. You can't ask for a smoother roll-off. I mean, it just cascades 
right over into the woofer, just a perfect curve. It's crossing right about 1,850 hertz, I think. So it's a big, robust tweeter. It's got a really low FS, around five or 600 hertz, and it'll play really low. I just had to sculpt it a little bit to get it to reach the woofer and to kind of fit with where the woofer naturally wanted to fall. Uh, it would actually play even, even lower if you needed it to. But yeah, it's kind of a big diameter tweeter. So yeah, it's the drivers are, are great. I'm really excited about this one. And let's look at the horizontal off-axis first, which looks okay. And I did horizontal off-axis in both directions. So horizontal off-axis to the left, horizontal off-axis to the right. And reason being, I had Ty offset the tweeter a little bit. Reason for the tweeter being a little bit offset is now the surface reflections that the tweeter sees or that, that reflects from, from the tweeter are different. It's not the same reflection at the same frequency in three different places. In other words, you don't want to just sometimes center the tweeter in the box so it's the same distance from three sides. Now you've got a surface reflection, let's say at 3K hertz, and it's emphasized at that spot in three spots, you know, three directions. We don't have that here. It's offset a little bit, so it's balanced. It's more more asymmetric. So I measured the horizontal in both directions, and it looked great. Now, this is where it gets good. Let's look at the vertical off-axis. Keep in mind now, this is on tweeter axis at one meter. And then each measurement is taken by moving up an additional four inches. So we're up above, well above tweeter axis at one meter. And the frequency response doesn't even change. I mean, it's still smooth all the way across. So this thing will project sound into your room, a balanced sound vertically through the whole room and horizontally, nice and balanced. So you can move anywhere in the room and it's going to sound very much the same. Uh, whether you're seated, whether you're standing, the in-room response is going to be balanced because the output from it is going to be balanced. You, there's no big holes in the vertical off-axis or something like that going on that's going to create an unbalanced room response. This thing has a great response in every axis. So it's going to look, it's going to sound really balanced. It looks really balanced on the measurement. Looks great. Um, impedance curve looks great. Nothing going on there. It's an 8 ohm speaker. Um, the PR on the back tunes it to right about 39 hertz, 38 hertz. So it's this thing's going to go down pretty low. Um, and good control. This is a paper cone driver. I love the sound of this little driver. And it's going to have really good bass response. This thing's going to dig down. Now, check out the spectral decay on this thing. Clean. Oh, man, the spectral decay is clean across the board. It, that thing just plays and stops. There's no ringing. There's no breakup. There's no residual anything going on, man. So this is a home run all the way. And... He's going to be offering these at $2,400 a pair. Guys, $2,400 a pair for a speaker at this level. It should be $4,900 a pair. This is a home run. Uh, it may cost a little more if you start getting into asking for exotic veneers or some kind, but base level veneers, which he has an assortment of stuff you can choose from, some light, some dark, some whatever you want. $2,400, guys. This is your home run. If you're looking for something right out of the box and you just want to plug and play, this is your speaker. Add a subwoofer and you're done. And if this goes well, and I'm I'm guessing this is going to go really well, we'll build on this and maybe come out with some other models that are in this series that are using these drivers as a base level for the design. But for right now, he's starting with just the mini monitor. I'm going to have links at the bottom here. Uh, just below the video where you can click on his website and you can contact him to order these things. Uh, I'm going to be just sending him parts and he's going to assemble these things out and have them ready for you guys. That's it for this video. I hope you appreciated it. You've been asking me for this type of speaker. What can I buy that's not a kit? This is it. So there you go. And we'll see you guys on the next video.